In this video, we will extend our discussion from Gaussian elimination to Gauss-Jordan reduction. So, um, it's not much of uh, there is no uh, not much of a difference, no, in terms of uh, the method no used uh, in uh, Gauss-Jordan and uh, Gaussian elimination. Okay, the main difference is that Gaussian elimination after uh, performing elementary row operations to make the augmented matrix row echelon form, diba? we proceed with back sub substitution. When it comes to Gauss-Jordan reduction, we don't have any back substitution or backward substitution um, step. Okay? So we do away with the backward substitution step. So what we have for Gauss-Jordan reduction is that from the augmented matrix, we reduce to REF and then reduce further to RREF or the reduced row echelon form. Okay, so if you may recall from our discussion on the RREF, okay, of the matrix, um, kapag siya mo na reduced row echelon form, then the elements below and above the leading ones should all be zero. Sa row echelon form kasi, if you may recall, lahat lang ng elements below ang kailangan mag-zero. So, reduced row echelon form, everything below and above the leading one on each row should be zero. So, if we consider this given system, okay, um, composed of uh, the unknowns x, y, and z, having three equations, the augmented matrix of this system will be this one, okay? So, we know already how we did that, okay, or we got that. So, if we apply elementary row operations to your augmented matrix, so I won't show that anymore kasi um, you can do that no, as your practice or exercise, okay? Uh, but uh, if we perform elementary row operations, your augmented matrix will become like this, okay? This is the row echelon form of your augmented matrix. So, I'll just leave that to you. No? So, nakailang example naman na tayo nun. So, this is where the extension will uh, come. No? Yung ating row echelon form, kung uh, Gaussian elimination, hanggang dyan, tapos mag ano na tayo, no? backward substitution. Pero kung Gauss-Jordan reduction, we will reduce this further. Okay? reduce to R, R, E, F. Okay? By doing further elementary row operations. Ganun pa rin naman, no? Pero ang gusto natin, okay, yung 1 na to, dapat above it, puro 0 din. Tapos, yung leading 1 na to, gusto natin 0 din yung nasa ila, ibabaw niya. Hindi lang yung nasa ilalim. Ito, okay na tayo dito kasi wala namang uh, element na sa ibabaw ng 1 na yan. So, yung below na lang titinan natin, 0, 0 naman na yan parehas. So, all in all, tatlong elements ang kailangan nating i-zero out. Yung tatlong may bilog na yan. 3, 3, and then the negative 2. Okay? So, kapag i-zero out natin yan, unahin natin yung ab above okay, uh, nung pinaka- uh, pinakababa na leading one. So, in this case, the leading one on the third row. Okay? That will be our reference and then we will zero out everything above it. Okay? So, to do that, okay, uh, to, to um, zero out this row, okay, the three on this row, second row, our formula will be row two prime is equal to, okay, row 2 plus alright, so we will pair this with row 3 okay so you can use the references kung, kung ano yung kung, kung ano nga row yung ating um, uh, kung, kung anong row nandoon yung ating leading 1 okay, pwedeng, yun yung reference mo, no, ito yung leading 1 natin nasa row 3 Ang gusto kong i-modify nasa row 2. 
So, to get the formula, row 2 prime equals row 2 plus row 3, pero dahil 1 yung nandito, 3 yung nandito, kailangan i-multiply ko yung nasa row 3 by negative 3. Okay? Same process. Okay? So, kapag ginawa natin yan, we will have, okay, pag uh, in-apply natin, isa-isa, dito, okay, ito, pair with this. So, you have 0 plus negative 3 times 0. So, dapat hindi yan babalik sa non-zero constant. So, it will maintain dapat na 0 siya. So, okay yan, 0. And then, yun nandito, negative, ah, positive 1 plus negative 3 times 0. Okay, ito yun. So, 1 pa rin yan. And then, ito, you have 3 plus negative 3 times 1. So, you have 0. Okay. Now, yung nasa taas, okay, na 3, this one, pwede na natin siyang i-zero out dahil ang gagamitin din naman natin dyan will be yung row 3. So, row 1 and row 3. Pero ang modify natin dito, yung row 1. So, row 1 prime is equal to si row 1, ipipare ko sa row 3. Pero dahil 3 yung nandun, okay, you will have to multiply this by negative 3 also. Okay? So, para lang din yung nasa second row natin. Okay? So, applying this, okay? So, ang gagawin natin, i-pair natin yung nandito sa row 1, dun sa nasa row 3 using this formula. So, you have 1 plus negative 3 times 0. So, 1 pa rin yan. And then, negative 2 at saka yung 0 natin dyan. So, negative 2. Okay, this and this one. Negative 2 plus negative 3 times 0. So, you have negative 2. And then, you have 3 plus negative 3 times 1. So, you have 0. And then, ah, sorry, I forgot to put um, dito kanina. No? Balikan natin yung kanina sa row 2 ni natin na isama yung ito tsaka this one okay, so that, that will be um, 5 plus negative 3 times 2 so negative 1 dapat na. and then doon naman sa row 1 ito naman tsaka yung 2 din so you'll have 9 plus negative 3 times 2 so you have here positive 3. So, this one becomes, now, after, after applying applying the two row operations, you will now have, so, modified nito, row 1 and row 2, no? So, this one is 1, negative 2, 0, then 3, then row 2 natin is 0, 1, 0, negative 1. Yung row 3 natin yung hindi na babago dito, okay? 2. Yan. So, isa na lang ang kailangan nating ma-zero out. Okay. Itong element na to. Above this leading one. So, ganun pa rin. Ang kailangan nating i-modify is still row 1. So, row 1 prime is equal to. So, ang ating i-prepare ngayon is row 2 and row 1. So, si row 1, i-add ko kay row 2. But since negative 2 si row 1 at 1 yung nasa row 2, so, magka-partner, negative 2 and then 1. Kailangan may nakamultiply dito na positive 2. Positive 2 kasi yung row 1, negative na eh. Okay, so, ito yung ating magiging formula for the new row 1. So, kapag pinair-pair natin yan, okay, ito, tsaka yan, you'll have 1 plus 2 times 0. That's 1. Ito, tsaka ito. We'll have negative 2 plus 2 times 1. That's 0. 
dito tsaka yan, you'll have 0 plus 2 times 0 still 0, of course, ayaw natin mabago yung laman yan kasi yan yung previous natin na ginalaw and then you'll have 3 plus 2 times negative 1 or that's 3 minus 2 or that will be 1 so this one now becomes 1, 0, 0 okay I'm modify natin no? uh, 1 din dito and then you have 0, 1, 0, negative 1 0, 0, 1, 2 so is this already a matrix in reduced row echelon form? you have here uh, all the elements all the criteria satisfied naman for the row echelon form and then uh, yung additional for the reduced row echelon form lahat ng elements below and above the leading ones they are all zero no so ito yung mga leading ones natin okay, above and below them puro zero ang elements therefore this one is already in reduced row echelon form okay so wala tong backward substitution dito kasi Pag sinet up natin yung equations, diretsyo na meron ka. Okay, limbawa kasi dito, row 1. From row 1, okay, let's say, let's set up equations. Okay. Sa row 1, you'll have, anong uh, variables natin dito? X, Y, and Z, right? So, you have 1X plus 0Y plus 0Z equals 1. So, wala na ito. X equals 1. Sa row 2, ang masetup mo dyan, 0x plus 0y plus, ano, 0x plus y plus 0z equals negative 1. Then, wala na rin ito. Diretso, y equals negative 1. Meron ka. And then, dun sa third row, makikita nyo kapag sinetap natin yung equation associated with the third row, we have 0x plus 0y plus z equals 2 so pwede na itong mawala z equals 2 so diretso, wala, wala na actually kailangan substitution dyan eh no? pinakita ko pa actually itong pag setup ng equations, pero pwede namang hindi na rin Pwedeng diretsyo na yan, no? Okay? Obvious na dun sa ating rows, okay? Ang meron lang dun sa first row, dun ang RREF natin, ang meron na lang variable, y, uh, X na lang yung matitirang variable, dito Y na lang yung matitirang variable, dito Z na lang yung matitirang variable. Okay? Hence, our solution, X, Y, Z, can be written this way. Okay, as a vector with values 1, negative 1, and then 2.